I don't need a Halloween costume. Look how ghostly I am. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today it is currently morning time and we are going to make some breakfast. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, you would know that I eat oatmeal a lot and what you probably wouldn't know is that I've eaten it for even longer than I've been posting about it. I've gotten to that point now where I can't take it anymore. I cannot eat oatmeal anymore, at least for a while now. So what I'm going to be doing this morning is making three different three ingredient breakfasts. Something that's a little bit different than eating oatmeal all the time. We're gonna see if these are any good. So let's get into it. So our first recipe is a spinach egg white uh, on toast. Yes. <laughs> if you hear anything in the background, that's the dog. Bye, Pudge. Hello. <laughs> what we're gonna need egg whites, spinach, baby spinach, and bagel thins. Let's get into it. All right, so for the egg white spinach omelet toast sandwich thing, you're gonna spray a container and then pour in some egg whites. And then also get some spinach. And you can use any vegetable, I guess, but I feel like spinach goes with a lot of things. And then just pat it down a little bit stick it in the microwave for like two minutes or so and then in the meantime I got one of the bagel thins or you can just do any sort of bagel or toast or anything and just put it into my toaster oven and set it to the toasting status that I liked <laughs> and then I got that uh, egg whites out of the microwave and got my toast it was super hot <laughs> obviously and then I put the egg whites onto the toast closed it up and there we go. Looks delicious. <laughs> Breakfast number two does technically it uses oatmeal, but it's not like eating oatmeal. It just has oatmeal in it. And it's gonna be banana oatmeal pancakes. All right, so for the banana oatmeal pancakes, you're gonna get a third a cup of oats. And I use quick oats. And then you're gonna get a banana, a more ripened banana. So one with a little bit of brown spots because it tastes sweeter. And then just take off that peel, pop the banana into your blender, and then one egg. Just crack it up and pop it in. And then you're gonna put on the lid, give it a real good squeeze shut, and then blend it up. Now you're gonna spray your pan here gonna pour on the batter just FYI you, it's gonna take a little while to cook them so if you're gonna do it right cook it on low and slow this was the result of my failed attempt to cook it on like medium-high heat almost burned it but at least I got one that looked cute <laughs> and then put the failed ones on the bottom and the cute one on top just to make it presentable <laughs> and there you go all right and then finally our third recipe is the simplest recipe I feel like you can throw it together really quickly and it's delicious and it's a great breakfast option especially if you're on the go or something and that is going to be our yogurt parfait now finally for the yogurt parfait you're gonna need some Greek yogurt or whatever kind of yogurt you like give it a good mix just to make sure everything is blended well and then you're gonna grab some frozen berries. So I like blueberries. I feel like they are delicious and they're sweet. And then you're also going to need some granola. And then you're gonna start by putting some Greek yogurt on the bottom. And we're gonna make layers. So the next layer is going to be the frozen blueberries. And then give it another layer of Greek yogurt. Just plop it in there. <laughs> Give it a little mixture just to pat it down a little bit. And then some more blueberries. And your final layer of Greek yogurt to top it off. Oh, just kidding, we got one more layer coming up. All right, final layer is just a little topping of granola. And there you have it, a nice Greek yogurt parfait. So here are our three breakfast options that only use three ingredients each. 
Yes, they look delicious, don't they? I am so excited to try them. Let's get into the taste test. All right, you guys, so we're gonna give each of these breakfasts a try and see if they're any good. I almost accidentally burnt the pancakes, but hopefully that doesn't affect the flavor. Let's start with the first one we made, which was this little sandwich here. All right, <laughs> let's try it. Mm. Oh god, takes a long time to chew. <laughs> okay, this one is really good. I was expecting it to be bland and like, I felt like it probably would have needed something else. Um, but it's actually great just the way it is, but I feel like maybe if you add some avocado or some uh, tomatoes maybe, just something else to add more flavor and more dimension to it, I feel like that would make it even better. But it's really great, especially if you're just on the go. It like stays in shape and it's great. Love it. On to the pancakes. Now this one, obviously this is three ingredients. I feel like you maybe need to add a fourth ingredient, which is like some honey or some syrup or something to make it taste extra good, but let's just see what happens. Let's just see if it's good the way it is. Okay. Okay. Not bad, but it definitely needs something else. Because by itself, it's pretty good. It's like a good consistency. Um, the taste is good. It tastes like a little bit of banana. A little bit too much of an egg flavor, but not bad. I would add probably some maple syrup or some honey and some fruits to really jazz it up. But if you just like need to run, just grab a pancake to go, then that's fine. This is the one I'm really excited for because I can't imagine why it would be any bad. Let's go. It's so pretty. I didn't even want to touch it, but... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is really good. I feel like the yogurt makes it, like makes or breaks the flavor. So if you are going to use some yogurt for this, um, which I mean, I assume, because what else would you use? <laughs> so whatever yogurt you decide to use to make this, definitely choose one that you enjoy the flavor of. This is amazing. Definitely approved. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna eat this one. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to try these recipes and see which one you like best. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for new videos coming every Monday and um, yeah, I will see you next Monday. Bye! It's freaking delicious. I'm gonna eat this. Oh my god.